Good afternoon and welcome to season of the platform on the speak to the power. Uh, let me take this opportunity to wish you all a happy new year, happy 2023 to you to you all. I'm glad that we're all here to see you in the new year. Um, it's been a minute. I've not been able to do one or two podcasts uh, due to the festive season and you know health issues, just trying to cope with things. <coughs> but um, anyway, we're here, which is the most important thing. So we'll carry on as we left. Uh, 2022 we are now in 2023 today is the second day of the the year of 2023 now what you see behind is the sign it says the international monetary fund and uh, many 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 african countries you can see africa is on the map as you see there to my uh, to my left as i'm you know as i'm facing you now the reason i'm talking about that is that you will shortly hear a video of how um, someone in the know is explaining the real agenda, explaining and exposing the real agenda of the International Monetary Fund. It's never going to pay its debts. Uh, it doesn't have to. It can, its debts are in its own currency. We can simply print it. Uh, the African debt is not in its currency. The African debt is in U.S. dollars. Africa has to uh, earn the U.S. dollars, uh, and uh, the only way it can uh, earn the U.S. dollars is not to be assassinated for growing its own food and becoming uh, independent uh, and uh, doing something that the United States uh, does not like. The principle underlying the foundation of the World Bank is that no country should grow its own food. Africa and the third world should only grow export crops. To export, uh, in order to have an oversupply of cocoa and uh, uh, other tropical raw materials, to keep down the price, they must buy their grain from the United States or Europe so that if they do something that we don't like, we can do what America tried to do to China in the 60s. We can sanction them. We can say, we're going to starve you. We're going to not export uh, any grain to you. So owing their foreign debt in dollars means that they have to somehow sell something that the United States wants not what they want. Uh, I think the, the most evil organizations in the world today are the, uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Now, these are things that we as Africans must really share among ourselves. We must enlighten our people. Uh, we, for too long, we have been led by lies, people printing lies and handing it to our communities. We've been propagating those lies within our community, not realizing we are actually doing ourselves more harm. Now, one of the things that we as Africans must begin to do must begin to is to begin to speak truth to power to our working many, many Africans, not only in Africa, but across the entire planet. Because the agenda of those people who are intent on enslaving and keeping Africa impoverished is to actually ultimately dominate and take over the entire continent. And indeed, keep the people slave in their own land. Um, slavery has not gone away. It hasn't. It's just here taking a, taking a new form. It's in financial institutions, financial uh, mechanisms designed to entrap and enslave. Watch this video. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on this? It's really, really important. Listen particularly to the words that he uses to explain um, you know, international monetary fund and the likes. Um, we have to really teach ourselves what are really important. These bodies, these bodies that are ultimately enslaving and trapping all African bodies, are they designed to, 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 to make sure that the people never have development in our land. And we have to wake up and begin to raise the level of medicine. And we need to set up our own systems, our own mechanisms to, to sustain our people and build a better future for the Thank you for watching. Where we speak to you.